good morning and happy recycling day. You've been doing a great job putting all your paper, cardboard, recyclable plastics, glass, aluminum, and tin in your blue cart. And now it's time to send them off on an exciting adventure. First, put any last recyclables in your blue cart, like the yogurt container you just finished for breakfast, your morning reading, and Maddie's dog food can. Perfect. Remember, you can recycle all plastic containers that have a triangle with a number from one to seven on the bottom. It's important to put your items loosely in the cart and not stack them together. Then roll your blue cart out for collection, making sure the arrows on top point to the street or alley. Be sure your cart is out before 7.30 so you don't miss the recycling truck. When the recycling truck comes by, it lifts the cart way up to tip your recyclables into the back of the truck. See how much space it takes to pick up and lift the cart? There needs to be four feet of space around and 15 feet above so the truck arms can reach around and lift the cart into the truck. Also, see how the lid opens to let the recyclables slide into the back of the truck? The lid needs to be closed when you put your cart out so nothing falls out onto the street when the carts are emptied. Once the truck is full of recyclables, like your yogurt container, newspaper, and pet food can, it's time for a trip to the recycling facility. The truck drives right inside the building to keep paper and other light things from blowing away. Then the driver dumps all of the recycling out onto the floor. It takes a little while for all of the recyclables to come out since the truck is so full. Workers will remove any big items that aren't part of the blue cart recycling program. Sometimes they find toys, car batteries, tires, bags of garbage, clothes, and appliances. In some cases, they find dangerous items like helium and propane tanks or needles. Those things aren't accepted and can even be dangerous to the staff. It's important that you only put acceptable recyclables in your blue cart. Did you know that we can all save money when we recycle properly? The city pays a higher rate when the recyclables have a lot of garbage and unacceptable items mixed in with them. But our rates are lower when people are careful to only put acceptable recyclables in their blue carts. Staff take the glass jars and containers out by hand. Next, a front-end loader scoops the recyclables up and puts them into the big bin so they can go for a ride up the conveyor belt to be sorted. Here's how we sort all the different recyclables so they can be made into new things. These discs turn, lifting the cardboard and sorting it out. Paper and magazines are sorted from the rest of the recyclables by other turning discs. Plastics are sorted with fancy computer eyes that can tell the difference between the types of plastic. When the eye recognizes your yogurt container, it sends the container to the right place with all the other yogurt containers. The eye sends other plastics, like laundry detergent bottles, to the right place too. Staff do additional sorting by hand to remove anything that is missed by the automated process. Tin cans, like the kind Maddie's food comes from, are sorted out by a very large magnet. Aluminum cans are sorted out by a special kind of backwards magnet. The cans are sorted into the right place. All along, staff take out garbage and other unacceptable items like umbrellas, food, toys, and plastic bags to keep them from contaminating the rest of the recyclables or damaging the recycling equipment. The staff appreciate it when people are careful to recycle properly. They're glad you rinsed out your milk jug before recycling it because sometimes dairy containers can be stinky. When all the milk jugs are together, the workers will use a baler to squish them into a large cube. The baler squishes the plastics together really tightly and takes out all of the air. Then it pushes a big bale of recyclables out, ready to be made into brand new plastic things, like plastic lumber. 
all the sorted newspapers are baled together. Cardboard is baled separately from newspaper, so remember to keep them separate in your blue cart. All the tin cans are baled together too. When all of the recyclables are sorted and baled, they're sold to other companies to be turned into new products. Your old newspaper could be used to make new newspaper. And Maddie's dog food can could be turned into a part for your car.